All right, hey, uh, so I want to jump right into it because I hate videos of fluff. Uh, this video is for Synology owners that want to connect an external hard drive and offload their data directly via USB. Um, this is also for people that already know the system and are just not, it's just for some reason just not popping up um, as a shared folder on their device. Um, so first we're gonna do is we're gonna try to understand what kind of file system your external device is using. We're gonna plug it into our PC and um, let it pop up and then we're gonna right click it to understand its properties. Sorry, I'm gonna close this. Um, if you look at your file system, this is an EXFAT. Now this is gonna be important a little later, later on, uh, but basically there are three different types of file systems. You have FAT32, EXFAT, which we have here, and NTFS. Okay, so now moving over to our Synology station. Um, once you connect your drive into the top right corner, you'll see external devices. Um, they go through two steps, um, initializing, which may take a while while it configures all of your directories. I've noticed that I've literally had to like walk away and do something and come back for some, so for some of my devices. Uh, but once it says normal, you should then be able to just quickly over, go over to file station. Uh, I'm going to open up just two different ones over and you'll see a new, uh, folder open up, which is a file station. Now I can make a little quick uh, folder called, I don't know, test. Um, and then um, you can quickly just move it, drag and drop and move it over to wherever your file station or shared folder you wanna move over. Now I'm using USB 3.0, all my drives are USB 3.0. And I've noticed with that, I can get up to 120 or so megabits per second, which is, uh, it just is no small thing. Now, some of you guys may already have it on your network, but one really cool thing with having it directly connected in is that it puts no strain on your network and puts no strain on your device. So for example, for me, I was moving over a, over a terabit, terabyte uh, worth of data and I didn't want to have my PC running through the night. And so what I did was I connected it straight into via USB, went onto the file station, dragged it over, and then let it do its thing. I was able to then turn my computer off and let it do its thing throughout the night and just have it do, uh, just have only my disk station be running. Um, so now part two of this video is if you're having issues, say um, I connected my USB drive in for the, and I have an EXFAT, now what do I do? Uh, now you'll have to then go into package center. So now you can search for EXFAT on there and you'll see EXFAT access. This is a 399 add-on that allows uh, your Synology station to recognize EXFAT file systems. Now say you didn't want to pay that 399. You do have NTFS and uh, FAT32 to work off of. Well, the problem with NTFS is that it's not cross-platform. So say you have a Mac system and you want to write towards it, that's not going to be an option. And some Linux systems are also the case. If you have FAT32, your gigs are maxed out at four. So if you have any files that are bigger than uh, four gigabytes, it's also off the table. Um, and so that's why you should just pop up. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but you got to cough up 399 for it. Um, so that's the whole system. That's the whole thing. I hope this has been a little bit of a help for you. Anyone who's been having problems like me, having a whole day of worth of fun looking through forums. And if you happen to come across this video as being your first one, uh, I hope this helped.